ふえぽいんふいよっ<笑> This is awesome <laughs> So the tongue's sticking out here Then you got the nose I love this change in the spine See how much they've really pushed that shape And that feeds through the feet as well But there'll probably be Like a little bit of hip In this section and then it will just feed through on the other side. So we're still getting that simple and complex. And then you got this crazy shift in the spine. They are literally going for feeling here rather than like seeing it. You're definitely not supposed to see these shapes. So the arm's coming like round here now. And then it's noodling back round on itself. And then come up. They've got a hand here. <laughs> the head's like squashed right down here now. I'd love to have seen these play blasts. And then this is made a squash frame here. So this is the contact. And then it bounces back up again, and her tongue's sticking out still, which is awesome. I've got to add it, but this is the breakdown of his butt. And then can you see how it then has the art, the overshoot and the follow through? <laughs> and as you can see, so the spine is doing this arc now, and then it straightens up. I also like that as this character comes down, you still got a really nice staging of Popeye and his reaction in like the center of frame. If you got texture, you always want to have big shapes to track. I did this a lot in TV animation where we had some characters who would have like really big feet. If you want to do something crazy in a breakdown, you can use that shape as something for the eye to track inside the motion. Can you see throughout all this texture how you're following the head? So the head is this really large shape in space, in the camera space, and they're using that shape as something for your eye to follow throughout this entire crazy movement. And then you've got a nice overshoot on the hand as it comes up before it comes back down again. So you've got one frame to overshoot to have a follow through on the forearm. Then you got these really nice overlapping actions again. So there's one frame to ease out and then it swings back around. So that you can see how much space they've tracked in that time over that one frame. And then they cushion again on the other side. So this is what I was saying before, is you need to have an ease in and out. If you're gonna have a really large spacing, you need enough time in the second in the second pose to read it, otherwise you just won't see anything and it'll just feel like mess. And you can see how like everything creates a nice C shape. So like the leg here is kind of posed so that it comes around with the spine. So you get this really cool action. And then there's like a nice hang overshoot. Also there's a nice arc in this on the foot as well before it comes back down again. And you can see how they've made contact here with the middle of the spine and then the rest of the body catches up. So at the moment, the neck is dragging with the head and then everything catches up into the middle. And you can see at this point, the, the upper arms have made contact already and then the forearm is dragging and then that's when it catches up. So you're getting some overlap in the arm. The reason I added this shot it's just because I loved that the, over the hookup, the hat is still in the air, and then as it cuts, the hat lands again. You can only just about see it because it's in the corner of the stream. But if I play that back, just watch the hat in the screen right corner. So in this shot, this is more for appeal in the face that I wanted to show. So again, see how everything's posed, love like really nice three quarter, even in the chin. They've got like a wider side on one side of the face. So this is like the thin side. 
and then you've got all this space on the opposite side to occupy so you get a contrast in shape then you've got his eyebrow I love how his cheek folds over so they've really grabbed that cheek control and they've pushed it over so it overlaps his eye so nice and then you've got his classic mouth shape where it comes out to one side so this is our little squash frame where everything comes down into his face and then this is our overshoot where everything's slightly exaggerated and everything's slightly more stretched than the final pose you got again the super nice shape for the mouth where it's down to one side again got this really clear shot where it's completely in the center so you instantly know where to look because in the cut before we were looking in the middle and then when we cut again we're looking in the middle and then there's one frame to ease out where we're drag we're leading with the forearm and we're dragging behind with the wrist just for one frame and then as we lead we're leading down with the elbow now and you can see how they've kept the like rubber hose effect so they're not dragging down the opposite way but they're actually overlapping the middle section like the meat section of his forearm and then as the elbow leads up again so the, as the elbow leads up can you see how we get that follow through so you get this shape in the forearm and then it hits to a straight so you almost get this after overshoot kind of feeling where now the elbow sits back in again see the change in mass in his face and then you go Duk! see how much squash goes into his jaw Bonk. so he had his hands on the shovel here <laughs> And then instantly on the contact frame, the shovel's still in midair, and the hands just pop straight out. When we start, we're literally just looking at her dress in this big graphic shape. And then most of the time, we're following this shape through the action. You can still see her hands around here, but we're following this big shape. So one thing that you should always think about is like in terms of your screen space when you've got these crazy action scenes so you can see throughout this entire time she's staying on this part of the screen you see there the entire time she's practically moving inside this section of the screen space and that way you're, you, can, you can track the action if she started moving over here already and then she went back again you would it'd be so hard to follow so I like how this she's almost holding her hips here to push, to stretch her body here, to reach forward to get to the next part. She's almost like a snail. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So you got this nice like overlapping on the hand, then it makes contact. And then to read the action, to anticipate that she's got to climb over this big thing over here. They've got a reaction here where you just about read her face reacting to what's in front of her and then it arrives and you can track we're almost tracking her head through this action so now she's moved across to screen right and then there's a little reaction before something arrives there's a little anticipation a slight beat and then we've got this breakdown where she anticipates down with her hips and then she springs up got these crazy poses and they're favoring for her chest to land in this position and you've got this nice flowing through the arms So you can see her spine following through that arc now. And then there's a little accent where she panics and her hands go in the air. 
and then one wraps so we're getting that separate timing, the offset timing of the hands landing on the head. And then the feet land into position. <laughs> I love how you just see her eyes folded by all her feet and her hands and everything. So good. It goes by so fast, you don't even notice half this stuff. But his head <laughs> has just flipped. He's like an owl. He's gone upside down. His body's facing this way, and now his head's the other way. His neck's just done a 180 on itself. So good. Her head, her body stopped moving at this point, but her, her hips are catching up. But because she's moving so fast, her body folds in on itself and she hits herself in the head with her hips. How funny is that? <laughs> uh, I loved this shot as well for Popeye at this moment. Not necessarily like more specifically for the breakdown, but I'll show you what I'm going to share. So with these knees right, You've got the nice, so that again they're not twinning, you've got a nice C curve, and you've got nicely posed in 2D. But seeing the breakdown, he's hat his legs go back into the same position, right? But his now his arms are out in front of him. But inside the breakdown, because it's so cartoony, what he's done instead is he's taken the legs off the ground. And they do a little like run on the spot. And they just go straight into the run in midair. He has no jump or anything, no anticipation. And just pops straight back in. I love that moment because it's just like it feels so Popeye. <laughs> I love how much they stretch the neck and they've made it again 2D and her little pursed lips. So she's pointing out this way even her body's facing the other way. So funny. This is really nice as well for her hands. And it just opens up her eyes. Can you see how her fingers wrap around her eye socket? So you get like a nice flowing action, like a flowing shape. So you got your pose. It's just the timing of it. So he anticipates up with his hands. Slams down. As his head starts dragging back, his hand just stretches. And it really pulls. See how long that stays for. And then it's like, whoop, and then it catches up. So it literally has like a two or three frame delay before it moves at all. So good. I like how our hands touching his foot. That's a nice little detail that they added. <laughs> so there's no. He's out straight straight into a contact on the on the feet. And then it pushes. See how stretched that is. Where now the butt is pointing straight outwards and her head's in here somewhere. And the hands are out here. And then it moves straight out of that. And we get like the noodly action. And the feet are smearing here. And again, small feet smearing. The hand pops up here and stays in place. So you read the hand. And then that eases out on the foot. And we're creating a nice arc in the feet there. And then they're holding the hips back through this action as the hands and the head lead. You got this nice swooping effect. You see how the feet stay behind? Then you get this nice C action. It's like a nice ripple effect going through the body. And then she's on the other side screaming. So good.